Three people died and several others were hurt after a police chase yesterday on I-10 near Picacho Peak, south of the valley. DPS says 19-year-old Kevin Avila from Phoenix was driving the van that was carrying eight passengers. When DPS tried to stop it, the van crossed over the dirt median and into oncoming traffic where it collided head-on with a tractor trailer. Border Patrol was called to the scene and Homeland Security now says its agents are investigating attempted human smuggling. And some are worried that this is another sign of things to come with the Biden administration lifting COVID border restrictions next month. Southern Arizona could be facing a possible surge in migrants. Team 12's Josh Sanders reports. This is the violent crash on the I-10 near Eloy Thursday morning, killing three and injuring several others that may be the latest fallout in border security and human rights. After a van carrying eight passengers fled a DPS trooper, crossing over a dirt median and crashing head-on into a tractor trailer. Homeland Security saying special agents are now looking into the, quote, attempted human smuggling activity. This week, Border Patrol officials say a record 221 migrants crossed the southern border last month. And Homeland Security estimating 170,000 migrants in Mexico are ready to cross the border once the Title 42 COVID restrictions end May 23rd. I still don't see any solid plan from the administration that says, and this is how we're going to handle the influx. Yuma Mayor Doug Nichols supports ending the border COVID restrictions, but says the Biden administration needs to set up border communities like his for success in working with migrants. Because small communities are are dramatically impacted. There really shouldn't be any releases in communities under a million people. Our nonprofit system, specifically the Regional Center for Border Health, they handle about 300 people a day. But as soon as you start doubling and tripling that number, their resources are, are dramatically overwhelmed. In a statement to 12 News, Tucson Mayor Regina Romero says Title 42 is a public health order, not immigration policy, which is why I support the Biden administration's decision to lift it. I've requested that the federal government allocate the resources necessary and support the local governments and community organizations that are on the ground doing this important work. Josh Sanders, 12 News.